Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about the finding square root of a decimal number. We have completed in our previous video that is how to find the square root of different number or with different method. Right? In this video, we will discuss how to find the square root of a square decimal number. So let's suppose we have a iPhone 8 code, right? This one is 51.84 and this is all by the division method. So we will take this 51.84. This one is what the number it is. Now how what we do is we will make a pair of the whole part and so this decimal part. This whole part is one. So we will start this one is one. So pair one pair and for decimal part we will start pairing from the left side and for this we will make to start pairing from the right side. Right now this 51. What we do is 51. So we will find the less than square number less than 51. So that we know is seven. 7, so this is, this is going to 7, 7 to 49. Then after, we will take subtract 3, we will get for 2, will be the reminder that as we cross this decimal point, as we cross this decimal point, we will put decimal here and we will bring down this 84 here. And we add 7 with this 2, we will get 14. 7 and with this, so we will get 14. Now this one is 14 and here, whatever digit will write here, same digit will write here also. So that would be here this 4. So it is a digit of square which will the unit digit in this 4. That means that would be the 2. So that would be 2 will write 2 here and 2. So it will be equal to 284. So this will be 0, 0. So that answer for this under root 551.84 will be equal to 7.2 will be equal to 7.2. Let's see one more we have one more example we are taking sheet as 31.36. What we'll do? Just we'll make pair for whole number and then we start pair for decimal number. So first from right we have made two pair and from this two pair. Okay? Then we'll take the square number less than 33 or here by 33. So that is what? That is the 5 5 sir. we have 5 5 because 6 6 sir, will be greater than 36 so that will be 5 5 so 25 and we subtract this so this will be 6 we will take and we are crossing a decimal point so we will put decimal point and 5 5 add here we will get 10 now this bring down this 36 we will get 36 and here we will put what number we will put we have 6 so we know unit digit 6 when the number is square number has 6 in that place. So this will be 6 in the it will be 336. That it will become 0. So answer for this 3136 is 5.6. 5.6. I hope it is clear. This and we do the normal numbers so that one thing. The number only difference is that how to make a group. So for integral we will take from the right side and for the decimal part we will take from the left side. We will start pairing. Suppose any number is there, if three digit number is there. So this first we will make a group from first to then other number will make the group. I hope this concept is clear to you. So let's see the question related to the square root. We have the question. Find the length of the side of a square, side of a square whose area is 441 meter square. What is given? Area. So we know area of the square is what? Area of the square is side into side. Side into side. And we need to find the we need to find the side. So side we need to find for that we need to find the square root of that area and that will be what side of that square. So, what is given? Given things are area is given is equal to 441 meter square. So, area, sorry, side will be what? Side of the garden or side of the square will be equal to the square root of 441. Right? The square root of 441. We can find the square root of 441 by division garden. We can find 441. One. Then from right side we will make pair of it, then it will be 2, 2 sub 4, and here it will be 
2 2 is of 4, the square number is 4 is the square number, so we will get 0 and here we will 4 and here put down, bring down this 41, 1, ok, this will be 1, so here we will write 41 and that will be correct and correct. So what is done? This is equal to 21 meter, 21 meter. I hope the question is clear to well. We have to find the square root of we know because the area is put side into side. So we need to find side. So for that we need to find the square root of that area. So we need the side of that square. Okay. Let's see one more question of it. That is there are 500 children in a school and for a PT grade they have to stand in such a manner that the number of rows and number of columns are equal. The number of rows and numbers are columns are equal. And in that case, how many children would be left out in his day, in his arrangement? We know this 500 and not a perfect square. So there will be obviously some extra student because we have to arrange it like that that the number of rows and the number of columns should be equal. The number of rows and number of columns should be equal. So first of all, what we will do? We will find out that the number of rows is equal to x and that would be also equal to what number of column that would be also equal to what number of column right so x into x will be what x into x that is number of rows and number of column is equal to what that would be total total children in in a drill in a drill Right, x into x is equal to the total children in a day. So first of all, what we need to do? We need to find out the square root of this total square root of a tree. Then the remainder will be the number of children left out. The remainder will be what? Remainder will be what? The number of children left out. We know this x square is equal to about 500 and this I, we know this 500 not is not equal to 1 this is not i square number so what we need to do is just we have to we will find this uh, a square root of it and the remainder will be the the number of the student will be out from this side so let's find the what the root of 500 okay so let's see by the division method i am taking 500 so from there and here so what will write this one is 4. So 2 2 is a 4 and the remainder is 1 here and then we will add 2 and 4 and here it will be double 0 will bring out, bring down then here what number will write? 42. So we can write 42 or 43. No, 42 we can write. So here we will write. We can write and here so it will be 84 and this will be 16. Okay, reminder will be 16 and this one is the reminder. Okay, so according to this, how many students will out from that group? We'll know we'll have the 22 pairs, uh, 22 lines and also 22 columns, rows and 22 columns, and from there it will be 16 students, 16 students will be out from that group, will be out from the gap, out from the group. I hope this is clear to you all and thank you.